Hi everyone, um, this should be the last video here on uh, working towards making a phylogenetic tree using Busco genes. Um, and where we left off um, from video number four is we have each one of our individual um, concatenated FASTA files. Um, each file here contains all the Busco genes with only one header at the very top for each sample. Um, so what we're going to do is now is concatenate these five files together, and we'll do that again here with Bash. Um, and we can use the cat command again. So this command, we're going to concatenate all the files that end in .fna into one final FASTA file uh, called combined FASTAs.faa. And if we see here, we see this created our new file here. And so then our next step will be to use MAFFT, which is a multi-sequence alignment program. And it's going to align all those different Busco genes for each sample together into a multi multiple sequence alignment. And I'll give you a visual of what that looks like after this. But uh, for that, um, for most everyone, your command is going to look something like this. Um, with just MAFFT, then your combined FASTA files, and then to the output. Um, for here, for just the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a separate command that's specific to the cluster at Oregon State University just to show that it runs. Um, but like I said, you'll probably use just MAFFT, depending on how you um, install the program. And okay, so we can see that it's running and I'm going to go ahead and um, kill this job. It does take quite a while to run, so you're probably going to have to submit it as a job. But um, regardless, there's how you do that step. And so it creates this file called um, combined FASTA fi final.msa. And so what you're going to want to do is move that from the cluster onto your desktop. And then after you've done that, there's the um, there's this handy program uh, called Mesquite. Here I'm using Mesquite. Um, let's see, version three point seven. And what this allows is it allows you to visualize um, visually look at this multi sequence alignment. You can see here these are the amino acids, and they're lined up by position. And here's our five different taxon over here. And so you can see here at the bottom, um, this is a total of, uh, let's see how many positions it is. Um, 1,185,000 positions and these are amino acids. So this is 3 million positions. So for the very final, final step here, what you're going to want to do is you, after you've looked at this visually and see it looks and ensure that it looks okay. Then you're going to go up here to File, Export, and you're going to export it as a Fuse Matrix, uh, matrix Export RaxML file. And you'll go ahead and export it, and then you'll move it back to the cluster, and then that will put you in a good position for you to go on to the next tutorial um, on creating a RaxML tree, um, which is also linked um, here in the tutorial uh, at the very bottom. Once you get your new file back on the cluster, then you can move to step 15 here and go to this link and there will be uh, steps on how to do the uh, RaxML maximum likelihood tree using Busco genes. So I hope that these uh, videos were helpful. I know I struggled with this for quite a while, so I was. Um, I hope these videos will find I hope someone will find these videos helpful because I could have sure used them when I was struggling through this. But anyways, thank you all. If you've all watched all these videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or email me if you have any questions or like any um, would like to give any feedback. Again, good luck and happy bioinformatics.